audio jungle. Audio jungle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. We're going to be trying to expose what CERN and what the Hoover Dam really relate to each other. So please stay till the end because this is going to be a long ride. Outside the headquarters offices in CERN, everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people are familiar with the statue of Shiva, the goddess of destruction. Actually, it's a, it's a man, woman, emerging deity, but it is the god of destruction. So why that? And you look at last year, they produced their video called Synergy. Yeah. Okay, that's a demonic ritual to communicate with the other side. If you know anything about the occult side, you begin to recognize the symbolism and the ritual dances for what they are. Let's fast forward to right now, the opening of the Goddard Tunnel, also in Switzerland, down the road from CERN. The Goddard Tunnel, many people may have seen the video, which again was a full-on in-your-face now let's start with CERN, alright? CERN is obviously part of HP Lovecraft and part of, you know, Satanism and part of the occult. CERN is trying to talk, trying to open the veil to the other dimension for the demonic beings and for the, the god of destruction. They're trying so damn hard to summon the demons, to bring the demons to rise satan to rise his army towards earth mother earth which is of course absolutely bad and how are they going to achieve it well they're obviously gonna have to have other stuff or other technology to help them out with this dr lisa randall she is a professor of theoretical physics at harvard she has done groundbreaking work into the existence of multiple extra dimensions uh then beyond the standard model uh, the astronomers and the astrophysicists tell us that the universe is full of matter, of stuff, cold, dark matter that's never been seen. Presumably not the same sort of particles that make up the standard model. So, within the standard model and beyond the standard model, uh, we theorists think there must be something new to be discovered in the LHC. So these processes takes a bit of time. Some of them might only take a few hours. Uh, the other day, uh, when we put particles into the LHC for the first time just to go a short way around it worked perfectly first shot but that's not necessarily what's going to be happening today uh, some of these steps may take quite a long time and to get to collisions at the top energy 
uh, will shortly take weeks. Okay, it's not going to happen today. Now, I think, uh, as a theorist, what I'm going to be uh, looking for today is that the beams get all the way around without bumping into anything along the way. So we know CERN is using a lot of other technology to, you know, bring the evil one into the Mother Earth, you know, with its army. But the Hoover Dam is also part of it if you just think about it. The Hoover Dam is shaped and was built and shaped as a portal. So obviously they are mocking CERN or they're mocking and making it a myth on dimensions and stuff, right? Like in movies such as in Transformers or the Lego Batman movie and just a lot of other movies that they're mocking the dimensions. You know, and making us look like conspiracy theorists and crazy people. But if you just think about it, they may be using the Hoover Dam as the portal. The, the Hoover Dam, the Hoover Dam doesn't just produce energy, but it also stores energy. And this is what's going to be used by CERN to open the portal, all right, as a bomb. And when the Hoover Dam explodes or breaks, that's when the portal opens and that's where Satan and his army with Gog and Mog or whatever and Shiva the, the god of destruction come in and then you know come over and just take over mother earth and just cause destruction which is gonna be kind of like a movie but this is why they're making these kind of movies to make it just fictional and making it just a joke and a mockery and a myth when it's true and it's real and it's gonna happen Maybe in the future, but it's gonna happen. And we do have some kind of evidence that the Hoover Dam may be Satanism and part of CERN as well. Uh, on the symbols that they have around the Hoover Dam um, building from inside, right? This is, you know, common symbols are everywhere now, nowadays. But this just gives you more, you know, evidence that the Hoover Dam may be part of CERN. That they're trying to do. This is still a mystery. If you look at last year, they produced their video called Synergy. Okay, that's a demonic ritual to communicate with the other side. Is this CERN's attempt to recreate the Big Bang on how we were made? Is this CERN's attempt to summon and to bring the evil one into our realm completely with his entire army? What is it that they're doing? Is this CERN's attempt to create the black hole to suck up all of us? Now there's a theory from the Muslims, alright? A theory that talking about the angels where they travel through universes or through dimensions, through different dimensions by going through wormholes, alright? This is just a Muslim, this is not really confirmed or is it true? This is just a theory where they travel in wormholes to travel in different dimensions, angels, you know? So this is very strange. Now, can demons do it? I mean, demons are kind of like angels, so I guess they probably can. But CERN, though, on the other hand, are, do are trying to summon them, to bring them here for some reason. And if you think about it, CERN's, you know, machine or whatever is kind of like a wormhole. So there's a different theories, alright? It could be the Hoover Dam as the portal itself when it collapses, or it could also be just CERN's itself, just itself, to summon, you know, Satan and his huge army to destroy our world, alright? And Shiva, you know? This is, I mean, they're both, there are different theories out there, but the one that really makes sense to me is, you know, CERN and the Hoover Dam together in my opinion let me know in the comments what is your belief what makes more sense to you for you know supporting me and supporting this channel leave a like share this video please this is very important share it to your family members share it to your grandfathers i don't care just share it to anybody anybody that you know because this is very important they should know this i will have more information down in the description below i will have links to this information where i got this
this, this antimatter is also called dark matter. Darnell himself is playing the role of the destroyer of worlds, the dancing Lord Shiva. Under the lamp, we see an idol of Shiva doing the cosmic dance of destruction. The miniature of the one featured at the CERN facility. Antimatter, you got